Hi there, everybody. Uh, I just got done finishing the what's left of the bug out belt. Uh, I figured this would be a little bit more important. Like I said last time I made this video, uh, functionality is more important than being pretty. Uh, since then, I've added a knife as well as an extra pair of underwear and two pairs of socks. And the reason why I've added those there is because, let's face it, when you're going around a day or two in a bug out situation, you don't want to keep wearing the same pair of socks, the same underwear all the time. You want to, you want to, you want to be able to change in and out as much as you can. And also, you got to remember, when you're wearing this and you're sitting down or laying down, you want something soft on your back. You don't want something hard like this. Or even worse, a sharp, pointy thing stabbing you in the back. You want some of the stuff. So, automatically this right here would automatically be behind me. As opposed to anything else right here. So, I figured this would be the finishing touches. Uh, this is all what I need. One of the main... I've re repeated this over and over again. Uh, many people who make bug out stuff often forget that the more you know the less you need uh, you need to be be able to move around quickly and this is more practical for every day and uh, when the shit hits the fan situation rather than uh, having an entire huge bag to carry around because you got to remember uh, a huge bug out bag makes you visible and people are going to want what's in that bag. Whereas this is a little more subtle, a little more hidden. And you want that instead instead of visibility. So, 